What's up everyone? So I'm here today with what should be another really fun video. As many of you know from watching my previous videos, I'm a huge Stone Island fan. Uh, I just recently picked this up. It's a Camo Devore Watro TC jacket. And I also picked this up for my wife. It's a Stone Island hoodie, I think called uh, Digital Space Print. And you can see it basically has like a galaxy on it, so that's pretty neat. Um, I went and with uh, the sales that are happening right now, did something a little bit extra. Um, this package that I've got here just came today from Stone Island Online Store. And this other one came in from Neiman Marcus Direct. And in these boxes are matching pants. Now, not matching in the sense that we're going to be matching each other, but matching in the sense that the pants I got will match this jacket, and the pants I got her will match her hoodie. And together, we will be matching in Stone Island from head to toe. That's pretty cool. Um, she's not here at the moment, so uh, we'll save the try-on for when she gets here, but uh, just a quick comment on, you know, why I do stuff like this or how I do stuff like this. Um, I'll admit it's a little bit silly, uh, but I think, you know, the logic behind it actually ties heavily into finances and how you manage them. And that's a uh, topic that I'm personally very interested in. I've got a lot of experience in, whether it's uh, the investing side on Wall Street or just being smart with your money uh, from a consumer perspective. And one of the things that I've come to find is that living in the present is the most expensive place that you can be. Um, if you're investing, you know, buying the hottest company, you're most likely overpaying for it. Everyone already knows about it. If you're buying the latest and greatest consumer goods and services, you're also paying that premium for the novelty, the newness of it. Um, the investing side is probably a story for another day. I've got a lot of war stories I could tell, and I, I plan to do that at some point. But uh, the consumer side is actually much easier. All it requires is that you be patient. And so if you're willing to wait for seasons to end, if you're willing to buy winter clothes for next year and summer of this year, uh, you can snag some really good deals. And um, I do that. And in snagging the good deals, I actually open up the door to opportunities for creativity and experimentation. So, you know, this jacket, this is a jacket I, I really did like when I saw it. Um, I did see it kind of late in the season. So this jacket was originally, I think, for all intents and purposes, $1,100, and I picked it up for $655, um, and I only had to wait two to three days to get it from when I saw it. Had I seen it at the start of the season and, and liked it and wanted it, I still would have been willing personally to wait between three and six months to be able to pick it up at half price effectively. Um, you know, I'll admit the numbers that I'm paying for some of this stuff are, are kind of obscene already, but retail to me is just really, really obscene. Uh, so, you know, in being able to pick this up at basically half price, I was able to then spend some of that savings on the matching pant. And the matching pant I got on sale as well, I believe it was 287 down from 410. And that's still a little bit spendy, it's up there, but you know, one thing about Stone Island is if you want to match, you got to pay to play. And it's pretty cool that they offer something like that because uh, that's not something you can do with just any outfit. And, you know, we'll see. I, I think this is going to be kind of ridiculous. But um, after I bought the jacket, I said, you know, I'm just going to splurge and get the pants and we'll see how that works. Um, on my wife's side of the fence, this hoodie, I think we originally said we paid 117. Um, you know, this is how uh, crazy I am with respect to optimization. Uh, it actually went on sale just a little bit more. I think it went on sale down to 109, and I actually bought it again 
in addition to the matching pants at the same time. That way, you know, it all comes in one shipment. It, it really wasn't a lot in the way of an extra step. Uh, and the matching pants were $89. So she's gonna have a head to toe matching Stone Island outfit for about 200 bucks. And normally in her case, that probably would have been in the five to 600 range. Um, in general, everything I do kind of follows this principle. So these shoes here are made by a company called P448. I had never heard of them. Um, I really like them because they've got a kind of a snakeskin leather print on the side here. Uh, they're actually really nicely made. I'm, I'm pretty impressed. These were originally $300 and I got them on sale for $90 shipped. Uh, same thing with these pants. These pants are wings and horns. Also never heard of them. They have kind of a, a, a tech look feel, tech look and feel, uh, tech wear look and feel. They're pretty soft, comfy. They fit really nicely in my opinion. Um, normally $300, got them for $90 on sale at Nordstrom Rack. And both of these, in addition to these pants, are items I never ever would have purchased ever at retail. But with the savings, uh, it's given me an opportunity to experiment and uh, really kind of take things to the next level. Um, and anybody who knows me knows that um, kind of tend to take things to the next level. So, you know, right now this outfit, I think it looks pretty good, but I am very, very excited to put these on and see what that looks like. We'll do that as soon as my wife gets home. What's up everyone? So I'm back, my wife is here. Um, she just got back from work. I just got back from a six mile run. We just ate dinner real quick. And now we're going to try to knock this out. Um, it's really, really hot. It was like 90 degrees today. I'm all sweaty, so I don't wanna be doing this for too long. Um, you can see the venue has changed, and part of the reason for that is um, Stone Island as a brand takes a certain je ne sais quoi je sais right? to pull off. Um, I remember reading an article in the UK Guardian that basically said you need a certain level of confidence, otherwise uh, the jackets can wear you, not the other way around. And that's definitely true. And I can only think it's even more so if you're talking about adding matching pants to the mix. Now, I'm no stranger to interesting pants. Um, I have got pants that look like the surface of the moon. I have got pants that have cherry blossoms all over them. Which I love and I want a pair too. <laughs> And I've got pants. I actually don't even really like these all that much, but again, sucker for a sale. These were like 20 something dollars down from 200 pants that look like what Hawaii. Mm -hmm. I don't even know. So I figure with the car, we'll give Tran who's never worn interesting pants like this, the je ne sais quoi she needs to be able to pull this off. So, um, I'm thinking the way we should do this is we should actually just put them on and surprise each other with how it looks. So, this one's yours. Okay. This one's mine. We'll cut the boxes open, then we'll go into our separate corners and come back and surprise each other. What do you think? Sure. I gotta find the box cutter though. Trusty box cutter. All right. Where did you buy these at? These are Neiman Marcus. There you go. And don't forget your jacket. Okay. All right. Oh, 
Oh wow. That's actually pretty cool packaging. I was not expecting that. And it's magnetic, look at that. Mine's not that fancy. Good, ridiculous, bad. <laughs> ridiculous, ridiculous. Just ridiculous, huh? Let me move this out of the way real quick. That's a lot of matches. Let's see. Dang. 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 You look good. Thank you. These pants and Wow, this is like a prison jumpsuit, kind of. What do you think? Would you walk around in public no. with me in this? No. But what if you're wearing that? Even less so. You don't like it? For real? I like the pants. I like the jacket. I don't know if I like the pants on the jacket. Alright, I can, I can always hold it off on my side. Let's take, let's take a quick photo. So the other thing is... Uh, Everywhere we go, we take some nice pictures, and it's because I've got uh, my trusty Sony A7 with a smart remote from my phone. So it's actually super easy to take photos. So look, smile. Except uh, it's like really short, so I gotta switch positions. Wow, you look super cute. Okay, ready? Here, let's get let's get like two shots, and then we'll call it call it a day. I have to be on this side because you can show off my still Yeah, just turn that way. What's going on here? All right, ready? Let's see. Get your pose here. Find your pose. That's pretty good. All right, ready? Smile. And then let's do a sexy stoic face real quick. Ready? Take a look. That's not too bad. Good? Yeah. All right. Anything else? You happy? We're going to hit the town? No. All right. Say bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.